underway in the 100 backstroke for women. The underwater work now. And she's going to come up first. Yes, she will. Kaylee McEwen first. And Emily Seaborn didn't get the best of starts. She's probably sitting about to... Fast, much faster than Emily Seaborn, who is sitting right beside her in lane number three, onto the turn. And she's just outside wall time at the 50 metre mark. 27.74 was the split we were looking for. But she, but she, she is well ahead of this world record. That world record line is under siege. And Emily Seabon's in front of the qualifying time. Will she hang on? She will. It's a world record. A world record. Emily Seabon is off to her fourth Olympics as well. Hayley McEwen take a bow. Emily Seabon, you're in rare air. Underway, the qualifying time shouldn't be an issue for three or four of them at least. Let's see how they come up. Hodge as well, it's an absolutely line ball. To Wallace having a real crack out in lane seven, but Jessica Hansen sitting right with her and Jenna out in lane five, but it's all going to be Chelsea Hodges through in a 30.99. That's absolutely motoring. Yeah, she's flying. This could be some time here. It's between two, three, five and six and seven at this stage. Hodges leads, they're all under qualifying time. Looks like it could be Hansen to take second. Strosh not far away. Hansen gets there. She does. They both qualify. They're both off to the Olympics. Well done. And take your marks. No mistake this time from Larkin in lane four at the start. Underwater work is terrific. Going with him, though, is Isaac Cooper, the man in the blue cap. Head of the swimmers beside him, Woodward and Cooper. Let's see the split at the wall. Lane seven's up there as well. There he is, William Yang. Good swim from him so far. We expected he'd go quickly. He's gone very quickly in that first 50. Which like has done well. Think about here. He may have hit the front. Cooper could be in front here. We could see a boil over. They're under the pole line time. Hang on. Hang on. Get there. Oh, he oh. doesn't. Cooper. Second, Larkin first, but they've missed the qualifying time. Larkin has made it 53-4-0. That was the qualifying time. He and the others might be a tape completely. We'll wait and see. We're away in the 400 freestyle for women. And Event Australia's only won the twice. Lorraine Crapp and Shane Gould. Lorraine back in 56. Uh, as you'd expect, Ariane Titmus, the 20 year old in lane four, uh, has already gone clean. There's the world record line, but that can be deceiving in, in 400s, particularly when, when athletes often negative split their 400. So they could be really quick right now, but they may be a long way behind it a little bit later on. But Tamsin Smith uh, going, Tamsin Cook going very well, as you say. Larkin. To the absolute wire. We saw that back in the 2019 World Championships where she had Katie Ledecky there. She's a good racer. She beat her there and she can perhaps do it again in a few weeks' time in Tokyo. But a 157.49 through the 200 metre split, that is very, very quick. She's Alan Shear, so she's got the legs up in full support. The way she catches and moves across the water, coming through on this turn, 257.77. If she comes home in an under a minute here, she's got to do a personal best time. If she could do more than a personal way centimetre from centimetre is getting it now but what a swim this is it'll be one of the great 400s of all time only Katie ledecky has gone faster what a swim from Titmus a new Commonwealth record of course it's a qualifying time forget about that did it easy and Cook takes the second spot Melbourne third Cook qualifies as well that <laughs> Depth that a 200 freestyle Australian swimming has ever seen. Chalmers is in three. Alexander Grant got out quickly as you'd expect. Right next to him, Whittington, the 400. They're training partners, as we said. Graham now getting his nose just in front. Lewis not far away. Inserting there as well. Whittington, all that 400 back end. What's he got left in this last hundred? It's a little bit slower than what they were at this morning. So the boys are running a little bit faster, so they're just bringing him back. And you can see Kyle Chalmers off the drag of Alex Graham, who's done all the work throughout this third lap. It'll be interesting to see how much he's got home and how much he works his third and final turn. 
And will King Kyle be swimming both the 100 and the 200 at Tokyo? In 30, not that far away. Winning to plenty of back end speed from him. But here comes Chalmers. Chalmers is going to get over top of him, I reckon. Chalmers takes the lead. Trying to hang on as Graham. Gee, it's close. Winnington's coming as well. Chalmers first. Winnington second. They both qualify. Neil was third. He's put himself into the frame for Tokyo as well. And Graham just fell in a hole in that last 20 metres.